If this is a city on the brink of war, the people of Pyongyang don't look too worried. But information is tightly controlled here. The headlines read not on the net, but on state-censored billboards. Even the rollerbladers get a backdrop praising Kim Jong-un, where you might expect graffiti. Their new leader seemingly determined to skate on thin ice. Our nuclear strength is a deterrent, he says, a guarantee to protect our sovereignty. Kim Jong-un, like his father and grandfather before him, determined to rattle the sabers of the West. His plans to boost Pyongyang's nuclear might wave through despite the consequences. And this is what he's reversing, the nuclear plant shutdown that persuaded Washington North Korea wasn't a state sponsor of terrorism. It gives it the opportunity to do what I think most analysts are most afraid of. In the next year or two, potentially, marry a crude nuclear device with a short-range ballistic missile. Will that be possible? Well, the Yongbi Young reactor was the country's sole source of bomb fuel until it was closed down in an international disarmament deal. By the time it shut in 2007, engineers there were thought to have got enough plutonium for at least six warheads. North Korea says its scientists will also begin work now at a uranium enrichment plant at the site. Both materials can be used to make nuclear-tipped missiles, and after weeks of threats against Washington and South Korea, that's causing international concern. Nuclear threats are not a game. Aggressive rhetoric and military posturing only result in counteractions and fuel fear and instability. So is war imminent? Washington doesn't believe Pyongyang scientists have the technology yet to build a nuclear-tipped missile that could reach the US. But with its allies South Korea and Japan far closer, they're not taking any risks. This may be billed as a routine military exercise in the region, but the deployment of stealth bombers is unprecedented. Provocation may be, or depending where you stand, a necessary precaution. Rachel Younger, Sky News.